So obviously Riley and I love cocktails and drinking, but sometimes you need a little break. Just like everything else, ready to drink cocktails have been exploding and so has non-alcoholic spirits. Sometimes you need a court ordered break. <laughs> <laughs> so back in 2015, Ben Branson created Seedlip out of the UK. His family has a lot of gardening backgrounds and different ways of producing vegetables. And botanicals. And Yes, and botanicals. So he decided he wanted to create something that was delicious, but also non-alcoholic. And his biggest way of looking at this is that he believes that mocktails should not be based off actual cocktails. They should be their own thing. So these are not like whiskey replacements or gin replacements. They are their own standing flavor. flavor profiles. And you might be wondering who these two are. This is Ryan and Liz. Say hello to the camera. Hello, Hello. world. <laughs> <laughs> so we met them back in 2019, or Ryan and I both participated in the 2019 Iowa Mixology Contest. So it's in the pre-times. Yes. <laughs> Pre-pandemic. Before, yes. before times. <laughs> and this asshole won. <laughs> No, just kidding. You had great drinks that year. I already knew. I got to taste everyone's. I already like, well, that's the winning one. Like, it came up at, right after mine and said, oh, I, I tasted that one, and obviously you were going to win. <laughs> <laughs> what experience do you guys have with mocktails or non-liquor alcohol spirits? I guess they want to be spirits, right? Yeah. Just right. Components, right? Components. Not alcohol. Components. I mean, they're, they're called, it, the whole classification is called NA spirits, right, right. but... And so we've uh, experimented a fair bit with mm -hmm. mostly out of uh, the Aviaries cocktail book called Zero. Um, we spent almost a year not drinking for personal reasons, and sure. so we spent a lot of time, I spent a lot of time making different non-alcoholic spirits and trying out different non-alcoholic drinks that way. Cool. And I'd say that is before, so these are a UK brand, right? Yep. And so these took quite a while to make their way through the state systems because yep. nobody knew what to do with them or what kind of where their shelf space was. And so we did see these, but we were in Slovenia. 2017, I think, was our first encounter with seed lips. What we're gonna do is try all three of these, give you our feedback, and then I also, okay, so they're each about $30 on Amazon. Um, you can buy the three pack, it's only like $80 or something. It's giving you save a pretty, save, pretty big discount. And then I also picked up this book, uh, Seed Lip recipe book. They have over like 100 recipes. So they have long drinks, short drinks, and they have other drinks created by professional bartenders. Uh, so we're gonna make a couple for each one and just give you what we thought about it or give you our thoughts about it. All right, so Thank we're gonna you. do their Spice, spice 94. 94 Aromatic. In here is allspice, green cardamom, white oak. I don't know. Cascarilla? Yep, grapefruit and lemon. Cascarilla sounds like sarsaparilla. It's gotta be related to sarsaparilla, yeah. but I've never heard Native of it Native to the Caribbean, highly aromatic with sweet, nutty notes on the palate. It has a historical being used in vermouth and amaro. Perfect. All right. Wild. Ooh. It smells sweet. like, it doesn't smell like root beer. It smells like the the Wonka bottle caps. Yes, root yeah. beer. you are. Yeah. With yes. a little bit of yes. like the aromatic like the, it's like the, the, the root beer candy. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah. The, it's the cola and the root beer mixed together of mm -hmm. that specific candy. So now they say that that specific Pink ingredients sugar? used in Amaro makes a lot of sense because I yeah. get some of that Pink smells tasting. in there. Yeah, it's kind of a free for all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that flavor comes through a lot. Oh yeah, all lemon that, that, on the front. That aroma, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the first flavor is the a citrus. pretty, pretty smooth, mm -hmm. just citrus, and then all of the aromatics come through in the back end. Yeah. After you swallow and get some of it up into the aroma sensations. Like it's, it feels watery at first mm -hmm. until you let the flavors basically explode on your palate. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and I can see mm -hmm. how with mixers, those flavors are just going to expand. Right. Yeah. I would say it's not as full, like full tongue flavored as like an alcohol. I mean, mm -hmm. your alcohols definitely distribute the scent a little different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I think your al the alcohols also activate a different set of receptors that have, triggers your whole tongue mm -hmm. in a way beyond. Um, so you have sense receptors there that trigger from alcohol differently. Right. I but think. if you do swish it around in your mm -hmm. mouth a little oh, yeah, bit, you get it different. does. Yeah, it absolutely. does hit those receptors. Yep. It just takes a little bit more work. Yep. And then once you swallow and get all the aromatics triggered through, it really comes out. This like tastes it. like a tea. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get like a lot of like lemongrass. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you if you just have the tip of your tongue, it's all lemon. It's mm -hmm. just mild yeah. lemon. And then once you get it to the back, you get those bitters and then mm -hmm. you swallow and it's great. I almost get like all a lingering good. cinnamon yeah. Yeah. warming spice. Yeah. I think that's part of the allspice and that cardamom. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, yeah, cardamom, cardamom for is sure. definitely there. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're back with two cocktails with Spice 94. The recipes will be in the instructions or Pick up this book for $14 or $15 on Amazon. What's great about this is 
There's a the lot link of is also in the description. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of different syrups and tinctures that make that would even go good with regular alcoholic ones. So I'm really excited to dive into this in six months. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with the vanilla one, I think, right? So the vanilla one is two ounces, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, soda water, and apple slice. Do you wanna reacquaint yourself with the spirit? Sure. And so to be fair, there is a small amount of alcohol in Vanilla, vanilla extract. extract. It's super oh, tiny for vanilla. a super That's tiny one. amount of, yeah. Yes. So. All right. For sure. You guys doing it? You cheers. Cheers. Yeah. It's possible that this setup is not the best for sharing across, or, okay, I see. We'll That's that. what I was That's, asking. Ah, yeah, my confusion. It's all good. Tastes exactly like a w cream soda. Yeah, it does. Oh, it it's does. A, it's a non-sweetened non like cream soda. Oh, it does smell like a caramel apple. Like no, it. but not the caramel apple, the like, do you remember yeah. those suckers? Yeah. It had like the caramel the apple, yeah, the Jolly Rancher inside and like mm -hmm. the soft caramel outside. Yeah, it's a non-sweetened cream soda. I really yeah. like that actually, because I love cream soda, but it's a little too sweet for me. Right, right. Yeah, I always want like one and then like halfway through, like, ugh, I'm over it's this like, thing. like, can, can I turn the sugar down? <laughs> right. This does a nice job of that. Yeah. I would like this slightly more if the apple was muddled in it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like a little more breadth of flavor to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or even like a quarter ounce of cider or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are some drinks in here that have like apples, like a quarter ounce apple cider mm -hmm. uh, or apple vinegar, apple cider, whatever in there. So different, but, but different. would both be delicious. Actually. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually really good, though. I would be I would happily order that as a mocktail. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Now we're moved to the like Espresso like Martino, right? Espresso, Espresso Martino. Martino. Espresso Martino. So it's just cold brew coffee, two ounces of cold brew, two ounces of this and just a little bit of simple syrup. Are you making your own cold brew? What's your? Yeah, so I used a uh, local blend, which uh, it's a local place called Verena. Uh, yeah, Verena Street. Yeah, we just use theirs and I just make my own cold brew because I do a cold brew martini at my job. So mm. this is the same cold brew I use for that. I let it concentrate for 48 hours because I think it helps mm -hmm. with it. In the fridge. In the fridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't get much out of this one. No. It tastes like cold brew. Yep. Yeah, the seed lip doesn't come through much. Mm -mm. No. no, but it the coffee like a is so slightly strong. softened cold brew. I mean, yeah. it's sweet. Like it gives it. It's not sweet because right. the the. Like, it tastes well, good, but the good yes. taste is almost all from that cold brew. Maybe like, or maybe it just absorbs the like complements all so well it becomes. It becomes I, a tasting. It's note such of a coffee. unified right. flavor. Right. And I would have just called it. And I wonder too, like they're using Sandoz cold brew concentrate, and I looked up the recipe, and it's just cold brew coffee. They said so. It's like I wonder if this specific cold brew they use has very specific notes that blend with this. Well, look at the right. color of that, and that's either yeah. that's um, so much darker than this. Yes. Mm -hmm. On the second, on the second taste, I can taste some of the spices, some of the botanicals. Right. Yeah, I guess it is, but it's delicate. Mm -hmm. It's delicate, and so many of those delicate flavors can be in different coffees. Mm -hmm. it, it could yeah. Easy, yeah. Right. I don't hate it though. No. Like I, I would still drink it. I don't dislike it. It's just not. I wanted more. This mm -hmm. feels like. I wanted. I wanted a more accent and complementary flavor rather yeah. than a blended, com so completely right. blended flavor. This right. would be just a happy brunch cocktail. So yeah, yeah it I seems like this is an actual product to buy because there's no recipe back here. It just says eh, cold brew coffee. So I wonder if there's a concentrate syrup or something that they right. buy you can, and use. Right. So that, that might make that, is, huge, that might make somewhat a difference. And that yeah. might w that might have taken away some of the explosion factor. Oh yeah, definitely talk about your mixing I, experience. I think. Oh any, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when I made this, I put two both of these in the tin, and it just the volume was like three x of what I'm used to. So when I took the tin apart, just foam everywhere. Just be careful. One cocktail at a time for this one. Right. All right. So now we're gonna do Garden 108. We have peas, hay, rosemary, thyme, spearmint, and hops. Ooh. We'll see. Hops? <laughs> spearmint? Oh, you're Ryan not. loves Mint is the one flavor in existence I hate. So. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I love making like mint cocktails and we're like, ugh, there's so much mint and they just throw it off to the side. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna try it, but it is the only flavor that I just cannot menthol. I can't handle it at all. Hmm? But it is spearmint, so it might be a little bit different. I do grow spearmint. It's like me saying I hate olives, and someone's like, well, buck olives. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I hate all olives. <laughs> oh. oh, I can What's a already buck olive? smell this. Yeah. Green. Yeah. It smells green. Oh, it does smell so very green. green. It smells like hey, freshly cut grass. It reminds yeah. me of the Enchiray's Verde. Yes, yes, it does. Yes, yeah. it does. 
It's like salsa in your glass. Mm -hmm. All right. Ole. It smells green, guys. Ooh, it smells beautiful. Ooh. That tastes like a salad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? But like Gazpacho. a really good salad. It, yeah, and yeah. the mint doesn't really come out. The, the menthol component of the mint doesn't really come through. No. Right. right. The but peas I, and the rosemary definitely stand out. Yeah. Peas at the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Definitely, it's, it ends in I green peas. I think the peas add a sweetness. Yeah. Like, but it's like salsa. So good. Or like a salsa verde. <laughs> yeah. Like there a is, spacho I in your glass. Dip chips in it. Yes, you do. <laughs> there is a trace of the menthol there. When, I, when I taste it without, yeah. without breathing and I can mm -hmm. just feel it on my tongue, I can feel the cooling. But it's mild mm. enough that it doesn't bother me. Which so is I feel nice. I feel like this one tastes a lot more like it smells. Yes, whereas the other I one agree with was that. Yeah. much different. Yes. yes. I feel like I know that this was created not to be a replacement for alcohol and cocktails, but if I were going to put this in a cocktail, yeah. I want it in a gimlet. Sure. Uh, add a bunch of lime to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great shit. <laughs> what if you just add any a little, margarita? Add a little bit of olive oil to this and just put it on your salad. You'd be good to yeah. go. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You just need the olive oil to, to stick to it, right? right. I don't know. If I really that's, like this. That's cool. Like just by itself, I think. Yeah. You know. It's perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So just like last time, we're gonna build two drinks. We're gonna build a long and a short version of this and give them a try. All right. So we're back with Garden 108 cocktails. We have Garden and Ginger will be the first one. That is just two ounces of the Garden 108, topped off with ginger ale and a rosemary sprig. All right. Are you going to re-familiarize or are we going straight in? I'm going to re-familiarize. I finished mine, so I'm going straight in. <laughs> yeah. Man, I want, I want a you salad that tastes just like that every time. It's so good. Oh, that's solid. I like that. The rosemary is mm -hmm. dominant at that point. And I'm a huge rosemary fan, so I love it. Oh, that's great. That's Is delicious. Mm -hmm. So when I taste this and taste this, I'm like, it just adds more, but I'm not getting like a ro dominant rosemary. Oh, I get more spearmint out of this. I think if we had shorter straws and your nose was closer to the rosemary, you might yeah. get some of that. And I, I did very specifically smell the rosemary first, and then, so that <laughs> probably affects the fact that to me, the rosemary was a wonderful dominant in the drink. Yeah. I like that a lot. That is delicious. I think this is better than the first uh, soda one. That we I made. would agree. Yep. And, I like them both. But, but anything this one made with yes. ginger is better. Right, ginger and rosemary. How do, you, right. how do you really go wrong with yeah, that? Comment? Actually, yeah. that first one might be really good with ginger. Yeah. Like I mm -hmm. said, the first one's great. This is just better. <laughs> right. I feel like also like when it's just more savory complex mm -hmm. is what I'm drawn to. When it's just sweeter, I can say it tastes like cream soda. Right. I feel like it brings down my enjoyment of yeah. it because it right. becomes one flavor instead of oh components fun. Yes. Yeah, I like that a lot. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a very solid drink. Mm -hmm. I can, yes, I could just sit that sit on the porch and drink that. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, which it's a porch sipper. Which some days I need to interrupt my gin and tonics and my beer <laughs> and my wine <laughs> with something a little less potent. So this works well. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna do a garden sour. I thought this one sounded interesting because we love sours. You guys yes, like sour cocktails? Do. Okay, perfect. So we got 108, two ounces, ounce of cloudy apple juice. A teaspoon. We did not buy cloudy apple juice because he forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and so we just bought apple juice. And then uh, cider we vinegar, <laughs> lemon juice, rosemary, thyme, and egg white, shake it, and double string. And cloudy apple juice is actually apple cider here. Mm -hmm. Right, that's what, the that's what the Midwest would call it, is right. apple cider. Well, I mean, Possibly I think the US, United States, yes, but yeah. like in other countries, it's, cloudy apple juice is what um, we call apple cider. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. I don't know if you like it. No nope. vinegar. Yep. I, I like the vinegar is very clear. In it. <laughs> I didn't want to warn you, but like at the same time, I, I knew, knew you were not going to like it. It is, is vinegar strong. heavy. I would actually like. I'm surprised by how vinegar heavy that actually is. Mm -hmm. How much did it have? A teaspoon. I would dial that. Uh, I put in double the amount. Yep. Uh, <laughs> um, I did. Two, I did a Girl! tablespoon. I did a tablespoon because the lemon juice is a tablespoon right above it. So I just kind of like oh, wait, just look, yeah, just look at it real like, quick, right? So okay. You can even so you smell tripled it. it. I tripled it. Yes. Um, you tripled the vinegar. Yes. That was a poor choice. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I hate it. Always <laughs> look for the lowercase T versus the capital T. It does T. smell like it's vinegar. It's important, right? Because yeah. yes, this, this is one. a very Here, vinegar. Nice so palate cleanser. I happen to like apple cider vinegar reasonably well, so it's still fine. But I would have. But it it it's wants definitely. every other mm. flavor so in there. So for having it be three times as vinegary as it's supposed to be, it's still you get the botanical. I I want saline too. Ooh, a little yeah. saline. You need saline in there. Yep. But yeah, mm. I would at least half the vinegar, but as written, it might be better. I like this. It's again, you can still taste the flavors of this specific seedling, right? Yes. It's, still, it's still in there, like you get mm -hmm. all of it. 
It's nice. It's complex. Mm -hmm. It hits a lot it's of a different drink. notes. It, 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 it's a good drink, and it could be a better drink. Right. I, my... I do like this version better than the, the last. first one. This yeah. is better than the Martino. Yeah. Grove 42. <laughs> we have bitter orange, blood orange, mandarin, mm. ginger, lemongrass, like and lemon. Like Maynard? We got Maynard? <laughs> mandarin. And that's why I said Maynard. Mandarin. Mandarin. Are you Mandarin. from Omaha? No. <laughs> you may repeat what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> Someone say Mandarin. Mandarin. Bitter orange, blood orange, Mandarin, ginger, lemongrass, and lemon. <laughs> Though all of the citrus. All of citrus. Mm -hmm. But bitter citrus. But bitter citrus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it has a cool fox on the front. Mm -hmm. There are no. Yes. Is that the squirrel? Or squirrel. Uh, squirrel. Oh yeah, that smells, it smells amazing. So good. It's, it, there's oh, a very specific oh, I like smell. I don't know what it is. It's it's orange, but it's like mm -hmm. the rind and a little pledgy. So you get a little bit of that like mm -hmm. yeah. the, the lemon orange. from pledge, but yeah. with an orange accent. Right. And, then, right. and you get the bitterness from the bitter orange. Or like mm -hmm. candied. Mm -hmm. I want the flavor stronger. Yeah. I want it to taste like it smells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want I want more flavor in there. This reminds me of the first one. I'm still sitting Creamsicle. in bottle caps. I think yeah. it, is, it smells like the orange bottle cap. Mm -hmm. It's the candied version of all yeah. the things. I want a lot more intensity in that. Yeah, because in I, the end I get... There's a lot of potential there. You know, like hand-squeezed orange juice and if you let it settle, this mm -hmm. tastes like the water from the top of the settled. Oh, right. Squeeze. This is more like what I would use as a spray it on the top oh, like a to rose water. aromatize yeah. a drink. Yeah. Like, this would be fantastic for mm -hmm. that. Right. But for an actual core we'll component, I want intensity. And mm -hmm. this doesn't have the intensity. So we're gonna make two more cocktails, a short and a long. All right, so we're back and we're gonna do our first short drink called Peel. It's two ounces of the Grow 42, a carrot cordial soda water. Now, I followed their recipe, it was like two cups of water, two and a half cups of sugar, and nine ounces of peeled carrots, a low simmer for 30 minutes. That's what I did. There's almost no color There's in There's almost cordial. no color right. at all. Yeah. And, there's, and the picture in here is like deep brown. brown. So it probably has a lot to do with American produce versus oh, European yeah, produce. Yeah, that could definitely. And this is probably like natural garden. I picked this right in my backyard. And, yeah. you know, you and didn't? So like that. No. <laughs> Maybe in three years. Um, so we'll try it out. Let's see how it goes. Cheers. Thin. I want a lot more flavor. Much yes. as I did with the actual drink, I want Not more flavor. Not a lot going on. Yeah. It's a little flat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. It's sweet. It is. Mm -hmm. Do you get I mean carrot? No. I don't uh, even really get carrot. Mm -hmm. But I can tell it's just no. not simple syrup, right? Like I can tell oh, it's right. just it's, not simple syrup. Yeah. It's, it's not just sugar water. It's, right. Yeah. It's, there's there's more to else. it, but yeah. it needs more. Mm -hmm. I'm almost everything. wondering if these glasses aren't just a little bit too big. So I'm having mm -hmm. too much soda too much water. Soda water. Oh, maybe. Oh, that maybe could be. that could be it. Because that does look small. That looks like like a like ten a six ounce glass. Ounce or 10 ounce, yeah. yeah, and this is fucking. 13 or 14 or something. But part of the seed lip, like I get it more back of my palate on top, but at yeah. the very end, but that's it. There's not right. a linger, there isn't any. Right. It's fine. It's fine. If you're a fan of bio. Flavored water. Flavored water. Yeah. I think up your, up your alley. <laughs> Less flavor than LaCroix, mm. but the squeezy. Right. I'm gonna play around with that, this carrot cordial you know, mm -hmm. and see if I can get the recipe, maybe deeper carrot. Maybe buy some organic carrots mm -hmm. instead of... Okay, I think it's fine. I think we need to see you tweak it yep. to get the cordial correct and maybe a smaller glass. Yep. Right. All right, and now we are doing mm -hmm. the Blossom. This is Grow 42, mm -hmm. fresh orange juice, fresh lemon juice, a little bit of cider vinegar this time, um, simple syrup and orange blossom water and an egg white. That is delicious. There's supposed to be some lemon grass oh, stock, good. but I forgot to buy that, I think. Still ends in vinegar, but it's delicious in the front and mid. That's it's not good. that bad. Well, I like that a lot. It's good. Is, yeah. I can see where the lemon grass would add an mm -hmm. extra punch to right. it, mm -hmm. um, but it's a it's a good drink. It's, yes, I do think that this, this specific bottle is just a little bit too light. I yes. do want more flavors to pull. I do feel like the flavors are just kind of there's single Hinted. dimension. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more of a hint or a whisper right. than an actual. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have the presence. intensity of like a, a orange curacao or a triple right. Like, right. Yeah. It doesn't have depth of mm -hmm. citrus flavor that I was hoping. It would have been interesting, like this 
without seed lip and then it as a cocktail to oh. actually see if you could if it was different enough to pull How out. How much accent right. it really adds. Yeah. Because fresh juices make such a difference, but yeah, I'm not pulling out. I mean, I'm getting a little bit of it, but right. like not enough to like, I feel like all it's doing is spreading the whole flavor out, not yeah. punching it up. It adds a little, bre little bit of breadth to the juices, um, but it's really background. I don't know, I, I think just again, on a Sunday, Saturday brunch, it'd be yeah. nice just, you know, as a good brunch cocktail for sure. Mm -hmm. I wonder be, if you could float. What have you tried any of the things? Could you, not with an egg white, but on maybe this being a or little bit less. Seed level float. Oh, I don't intense, know. Intense, if you could. I mean, in theory, right? It so in theory, there's no sugar in there, right? So in right. theory, it should be a top float easily because right. then it's not going to sink to the bottom at all. I don't know. I'm interested to try some of these other ones. I definitely want to try some of these uh, ones produced by actual bartenders. They're a lot more in depth. So for instance, right. just to give you an idea of how much more involved. Here is a squirrel nut fizz created by Ryan from Cub Super Lynn in Dandelion, London. This, Bla a black currant soda, soda honey, honey syrup, syrup, blood orange juice, lemon juice, egg white, a vanilla peanut milk. So they're just, again, this is how all these professional ones, there's a lot more involved in a lot more things. So I think we can do like these one at a time, give them a try. We'll also post them on our Instagram mm -hmm. um, and Facebook page, let you know how we feel about them. But I think these sometimes with two will help play. Yeah. Professional and, bartenders are making these, so they're going to play up to these notes mm -hmm. a little bit more. Like some of them were just good, and others were really good starts that I think there's a lot of potential to Absolutely. Build on. Right. Absolutely. So. I definitely say check this out. I think it's worth it. Again, it's, you know, for yeah. $80, $90, you can get all three and try them out for yourselves and see how you like them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely pick up this book. I think it's going to help you a lot to understand where they're coming from and what you need to do with it and give, give you a good like baseline, I think. Yeah. Yes, not one-to-one -one do a spirit. It is more complex. It is a different mm -hmm. ingredient. If I was right. gonna, if I was gonna choose them, right one now. one bottle, I would choose them in this order. Yep. Botanical, um, aromatic, citrus. Yeah. Yeah. I do really enjoy the garden. Yeah. 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 The garden yeah. was the best. That was of favorite. Them. Go and give them a try. Have what? Let us know what non-alcoholic spirits you try. Let us know so we can maybe pick them up ourselves. I know we are going to do ritual at some point. Okay. Yeah, I haven't had it either. And there's a new one called Monday Out, I think. They're another one that's uh, getting pretty popular. So so yeah, go ahead and check those out. <laughs> We're going to film another episode with these guys. Uh, it's going to be uh, Fresh Juice from Fresh Victor. Again, kind of more of an NA experience. So stay tuned for that.